Welcome back mga silingan kapitbahay neighborhood. I am Riri Cabrera, ang totoong Raul, and this is House Construction Vlog Episode Number 5. <laughs> So yun nga, nasa location ako ng pinapagawang bahay. Wow. And specifically, nasa may sulok ako. Yan. So, pag nahulog ako dito, yeah. Ang last episode nito is episode 5. <laughs> so the first one we're going to show you is the continuation of steel deck installation. This clip was taken last January 2 and yeah, this is the same procedure like the previously shown vlog episode number 4 on how they installed the steel deck. Like they have to prepare this strip woods and formworks para merong kakapitan yung steel deck and ayan. After that securing the steel deck, Kuya Opling is gonna fix the edges to make sure that there will be no leaking of cement. Ayan, sisiguraduhin talaga na sealed siya para, yun, secured lahat, even the cement. And after they completed the stall number 2, ginawa nila agad yung stall number 1, which is they have to attach some formworks pa, ayan. And right after matapos nila yan, syempre, kakabitan na din nila yan ng mga formworks, ayan. Actually, they really need to attach the formworks talaga muna before they're going to attach the strip woods. Kasi nga, ito mismo yung kakapita ng strip woods like this. Yan, yung makikita nyo. Diyan kasi siya ipapako. And after that, kakapita na rin siya ng steel deck. And this is how it looks like kapag nandun ka sa ilalim ng steel deck sa may stall number 1. Yan, nakasecure na yan siya. Yan, bawat kanto, chinecheck ni Kuya Openg to make sure that everything is sealed and also Kuya AG was assigned by Tate Joji to cut some piece of woods that matches the size of the vacant spaces kasi ilalagay siya dyan mismo ayan, yan yung mga vacant na tinakpan na yan yung itsura niya para mapapako din siya and secure din na naka-attach talaga yung steel deck and after they completed the steel deck installation, they have also started attaching some formworks all over the corner of the house. Ayan. Before they started working with the floor extension para sa terrace nung pinapagawang bahay. And also, they added with strip woods for additional support doon sa floor extension ng terrace. Kasi lalagyan din siya ng bakal and ng semento eventually. Yan yung itsura niya. In this clip, Tatay Joji decided to overlap the kitchen section of the house so that it would be more like spacious and wider yung kusina ng mismong bahay. And para matibay siya and hindi talaga siya basta-basta masisira, Nilagyan din siya ng floor beam that will going to support the area of the kitchen. Tapos, eh, ay, si tatay oh. <laughs> So, ito yung itsura niya after magawa yung floor beam dun sa mismong area sa may kitchen. Ayan. When the ordered 2x2 two two strip woods arrived, ayan, each pieces were used and attached for an additional support for steel deck whenever nabubuhusan siya ng concrete slab. And yeah, bawat sulok ng bahay nilagyan din siya ng mga 2 by 2 strip woods, lahat ng corner. And some pieces were attached horizontally to add additional support for those mga nakatayong strip woods. And they call this one as brace. Yan. Para hindi masyadong magalaw yung mga vertically attached na mga strip woods. In this part of the video, it's Kuyaramel bending the edge of the rebars because they're going to use them 
for matting or rebar grids for concrete slab. Ayan, they're going to place them properly, making it sure that everyone is attached properly, one by one. Ayan. This rebar grid has the dimension of 20 by 18. That is the distances between two rebars. Yeah. And also, they are securing every one of them with tie wires. And by the way, this is how it looks like yung itsura ng overlap space sa my kitchen. Ayan siya, yung black. Every rebar has to be connected with one another. That is why they connected it with tie wires. And also, to ensure na matibay talaga yung pagkakakabit ng mga grid rebars dito. And these are the materials needed for electric system. Yan, electrical pipes, junction box, and also eh, the junction box connector. By the way, ganito siya ikakabit. Yan. Ganyan siya. And also, we purchase the elbow pipes. This one, the purpose of this is to change the direction or the angle of the electric pipes parang ganyan siya and those junction box will be placed here yan yung mga butas na yan And after all the electric system materials being placed on their specific areas, this is how it looks like. And by the way, the house will be having three circuit breaker. One is in the main house while the other two is both in the stall number one and stall number two. And at the same time, the PVC for drainage and water system were being attached as well during this week. Yan, sinisecure na nila yan before pa siya buhusan ng concrete slab. In terms of columns here at the second floor, some of the rebars have been removed and reduced because the columns here doesn't have to be same as the columns on the first floor. Kasi nga, konti lang yung like bubuhatin and responsibility ng column. Like, roof na lang yung kakailangan ninyang suportahan. And, yun. Kaya, si Tatay Joji, ni-reduce na lang niya yung number of rebars na gagamitin. Yung dito ngayon sa taas, yan, kinakontinue lang nila yung paggawa ng columns. After nila magawa yung mga columns, yun, bubuhusan na siya ng boom. Boom ang tawag nila yung truck na nag-aano ng cement. So, every day, I am here 
to capture some videos kasi nga for updates dun sa ate ko and for my brother-in-law. So in making the column, it's just the same procedure lang din on how they make columns dun sa baba. Ang ano lang, pinagkaiba lang dito sa taas, binawasan nila. Di ba yung sa baba was 17 columns? And dito sa taas, naging 14 columns na lang siya. And also, yung size ng column dito sa may second floor, hindi na siya ganun kalaki na parehas dun sa baba. Kasi dito sa taas, konti na lang yung load na bubuhatin niya. Yeah. Kumbaga, roof na lang yung responsibility niya, ganun. And mga silingan kapitbahay neighborhood, that includes our vlog episode number 5. And yes, to those who are new on my channel, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe so you know when new videos and vlog episodes come out. And yes, thank you so much for watching and see you again on the next episode. Bye! Baby,